Good morning, everybody. Um, it's probably kind of hard to see me here. Let's see if we can get a better light. There we go. Um, I am here in Denver today. You can probably hear the traffic in the background. I just stepped outside on our first break of the day from the Livestock Disease Traceability Forum here in Denver, where USDA just uh, announced some of their preliminary results and kind of what their recommendations are after the listening session that they did on animal disease traceability. So let me go through this with you. They are recommending that we increase the number of cattle that have official ID. And here's the next one. They are recommending that we move forward with a complete electronic identification of all breeding age cattle by January 1 of 2023. Um, so complete electronic ID of the breeding age cattle. They're talking about full figuring out the electronic data systems that need to go along with that. Um, there's a lot of questions about confidentiality and those types of things. Um, they are recommending that all those cattle need to have electronic IDs at a change of ownership or at the point of first co-mingling so that they can go all the way back to um, the place of birth. Um, so I'm kind of curious here after the break, we'll be asking some questions about what that'll mean for needing to identify calves um, and some of those intact heifers and stuff when they're leaving your operation as, as calves when you're weaning them or as yearlings when they're going to backgrounding lots. Um, they're also talking about kind of monitoring and enforcement, um, how we're going to do all the electronic record sharing and all that kind of stuff. Um, there's a lot of questions here, and I'm, uh, I think we're going to have to have some pretty serious discussions about some of this yet. The last thing that I thought was at least somewhat um, positive is that they are not recommending any expansion of requirements for identification on feeder cattle at this point. Um, so that's a, a move in the right direction at least, I guess, and something that we uh, push for. But some of these requirements that they're changing on uh, our breeding cattle is uh, definitely something that we're going to want to keep an eye on. So they're talking right now um, electronic ID on all breeding age cattle by January 2023. That gives us five years. So. We're on our first break here and we're going back into a question and answer session. Um, there were a lot of shaking heads uh, during this report, so I'm hopeful that we're not the only ones with some questions, but I'll try to keep you guys posted throughout the day. So send me your questions, post them here, and I'll try to get some answers and pass it along as we go.